So Hamas's October the 7th attack has been described as Israel's 9-11. U.S. President Joe Biden, by U.S. President Joe Biden, while supporting Israel's right to defend itself, he also publicly warned Prime Minister Netanyahu not to make the same mistakes the U.S. did in response, a warning that was echoed today by the U.N.'s Special Rapporteur on Counterterrorism and Human Rights. Let's explore this further. Kristen Sulumi is at the United Nations in New York. Kristen, what mistakes are they referring to? Well, you may recall that after the attacks of September 11, 2001, which killed some nearly 3,000 Americans, the worst uh, attack on U.S. soil in history, uh, that led to the war on terrorism, the so-called war on terrorism, a war that was waged, according to Special Rapporteur Finola Ni Alan, uh, with violations of international law. Specifically, she talked about uh, the rounding up of Muslim men, uh, many of whom were tortured and sent to Guantanamo Bay prison facility without due process, a facility that can continues to exist, she said, and continues to uh, meet standards for violating international law, specifically uh, for its degrading treatment, uh, cruel and inhuman treatment of the people who have been held there. But what was really interesting is that she said these actions didn't have the desired effect. If anything, uh, the attempt to crack down on terrorism just made it worse. Have a listen for yourself to what she said. What did we learn from 9-11? That the response was a, in deep and profound violation of international law. And the cost of that was the perpetuation of the cycle of conditions conducive to violence. It wasn't an end to violence. It provided the basis for further radicalization, further extremism conducive to terrorism. It provided um, a, a global nomenclature of a, quote, war on terror, which was not only profoundly ineffective in preventing terrorism, but actually spawned decades of serious and egregious violations of international law. And, Crystal, what was her reaction to Israel's response to Hamas's attack? Well, she was unequivocal in condemning the attack itself by Hamas, which led to the deaths of 1,400 Israelis, many of them civilians. Um, but she also echoed what the U.N. has been saying all along, that any response has to be in line with international law, civilians must be protected, hospitals must be protected, aid must be allowed in. Otherwise, it will not end the cycle of violence that we've seen in the Middle East for so long now. All right, Kristen, thanks for that. Kristen Sulumi at the United Nations.